Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we'll cover writing the first program in AngularJS. So, before getting started with the writing of the program, let's make sure you have a text editor like Notepad or Notepad++ along with the latest browser. You can also go for any IDE like Visual Studio for getting the added advantage of AngularJS. That is, you will get some IntelliSense feature as well. So once you have any environment, any editor or any browser available, you are good to start with this. Now, first of all, what you can do is you can write a sample page of HTML. That is, using the HTML tag, head, title, body, whatever you want to put usually in the HTML page. Once you are done with that, you can easily embed the AngularJS code inside HTML. Question arises how to differentiate between the code of AngularJS with the HTML. So the answer is you can go for ng-app directive which you can use as an attribute of any tag where you want to place the AngularJS code. Let's example if in a HTML page you have made a div tag. And if you will pass the ng-app, immediately at that time, that particular segment would be AngularJS enabled, means you are good to put the AngularJS logics inside that div. If you want some broader aspect of putting the AngularJS code, you can put this ng-app directive attribute in the body tag also. The logic is, once you put this directive as an attribute, you can start writing AngularJS code immediately. Let's check this in a program. As you can observe here, it is a plain HTML file, normal HTML file with HTML tag, head, title, meta, everything. Here you can observe I have put a script tag in the uh, head section, right? Where I have passed the SRC is scripts slash AngularJS. I have treated like I have downloaded the script files and I have put it inside the scripts folder. So once I did that, I can start writing the AngularJS code into it. So here in the body, I have two DIVs. In the first DIV, there is a plain text written and inside the second DIV, I applied ng-app attribute. I have not passed any value in front of it because in this example, I have created a very small thing. I just put a normal expression. No modules have been created so far. Once we'll start creating some different modules in AngularJS, you can put the desired module name out here. So here you can see the same thing has been written. That is inside the curly double curly braces, I put a text like 10 plus 20. But in the previous div, this will be treated as a plain text. Rather, once I'll put this ng-app, here it will be treated as an expression. Like whenever you want to put an expression in AngularJS, you can pass this double curly braces. So when you will run this page in the browser, you will find this as an output. where the first div treated that 10 plus 20 as a plain text and it printed it as it is while in the second one it solves this expression and gives you the result as 30. So you can try running this basic program in your machine to see the output. In our next pro video we'll see some more directives and we'll start writing some complex programs in AngularJS.